Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. There's a lot happening in Weatherfield next week. There is never a calm moment in Weatherfield, and next week will be no exception, with lives in peril arrests, a new official couple, and plenty of returns in Coronation Street. Beginning with the returns, Fizz and Tyrone Dobbs will be back on the streets in subsequent scenes after various periods of absence. Fans of the ITV serial will recall that Fizz moved for Norwich last year and has not been seen on the cobbles since May, though she has made a few FaceTime cameos. That's because in real life, actress Jenny McAlpine took maternity leave and welcomed her third child, a gorgeous baby daughter named Doris, with husband Chris Fair in April 2023. Meanwhile, Tyrone quit the cobbles earlier this year to join wife Fids in Italy for a training. In real life, actor Alan Halsall underwent reconstructive surgery on his ACL ligament, and it was confirmed last year that he would be taking a short leave from Corey to heal. Now spoilers have revealed how Fizz's comeback will play out. As the week begins and Fizz and Tyrone return home, Evelyn and Cassie agree that it will be congested and each suggests that the other move out. Fizz and Tyrone get home to discover Evelyn and Cassie in the midst of a fight. Fizz gently reminds Tyrone that there isn't enough room at No 9 for everyone and he'll have to choose between his grandmother and his mother. Later, at No. 9, Evelyn and Cassie both attempt to impress Fizz and Tyrone with their cooking abilities. Tyrone tells Evelyn and Cassie that he does not want either of them to leave and that they should stay together for the time being, but Fizz believes it is a formula for disaster. Meanwhile, Fitz tries to impress Carla Barlow with some ideas she learned at the Norfolk factory. After returning to work, a depressed Fizz confides in Tyrone that she did not receive a promotion despite her suggestions, and even the girls appear to prefer the companionship of Evelyn and Cassie. Tyrone tells Evelyn that Fizz is feeling marginalized and is concerned that the kids no longer need her. Soon, Evelyn encourages Ruby to read her monologue about her role model. Meanwhile, Adam Barlow is concerned that his bargain with Harvey Gasglas may result in him endangering those he cares about, notably Sarah. After signing Sarah's divorce papers, a sad and guilty Adam deletes Harvey's appeal letter and places the USB with the CCTV evidence in a jiffy bag labeled the murder of Nanisha Blakeman. It's not long before an enraged Harvey informs him that the cops have the CCTV footage and warns Adam to guard his back. Adam calls Sarah's flat and tells her he does not want a divorce, that he still loves her, and that they should try again. Sarah, shocked, rushes out of the flat. Bethany approaches her mother, who is upset, just as a car rushes towards them. Later, at the hospital, Daniel scolds a guilt-ridden Adam for being involved with Harvey and endangering Sarah and Bethany's lives. Back on the street, Ken is astounded to learn how Adam's actions have impacted everyone. Damon assures Sarah that he'd has spoken with Harvey, that he has vowed to back off, and that she and Bethany have nothing to fear. Adam is having difficulties not only at home, but also at the solicitor's office, where Dee Dee Bailey continues to give him the cold shoulder and promises him that she is looking for a new place to live and will be out of his hair soon. Meanwhile, Gary and Maria Windus take Liam Connor to the cafe for a milkshake, but when his bully Mason Radcliffe enters, Maria flies at him, forcing Gary to restrain her. Mrs. Crawshaw soon informs them that she is preparing evidence to have Mason expelled. However, Liam tells Jake about Mason picking on another boy at school. Jake thinks he should report him, but Liam refuses to get involved. Later, under pressure, Liam tells Gary and Maria that Mason threatened him with a knife. They take a horrified Liam to the police station, and shortly after, PC Crate Tinker and another officer phone number 11 and inform Seam Tully, Eileen Grimshaw, and Dylan Wilson that they have grounds to think they are hiding a zombie knife used in an assault, but the knife cannot be located. Dylan claims he knows nothing about it, but Mason soon instructs Dylan to get the knife and meet him in the ginnel. But while Dylan waits uncomfortably, Craig approaches and discovers the knife in Dylan's backpack, arresting him. Dylan realizes with dread that Mason has seen Dylan in the interview room, convincing a terrified Dylan that it is time to confront Mason and tell the police everything he knows. Later, Seen defends Dylan when Eileen and George confront him. After Dee Dee tells Dylan that he should reconsider his plea, 
He runs into Liam and apologizes for harassing him, and he is terrified when Liam tells him that he considered suicide. Mason finds Dylan in Victoria Garden and thanks him for accepting the blame. Dylan stares at him with contempt and informs him that he also informed the police about the hit and run. Elsewhere, Bobby records an appeal in the cafe with Suki from the Gazette to find Lauren Bolton. Suki also interviews Roy Cropper, but his appeal is lackluster, and Bobby listens with dread. Evelyn Plumer apologizes to Roy, explaining that she had to let Lauren's flat go after the landlord discovered she was subletting it. And following Ryan Connard's reappearance last week in The Rovers, he and Daisy kiss passionately while Jenny looks on disapprovingly. Ryan phones the plant, expecting to find work, but Carla informs him that they are fully staffed. Carla is appalled when Ryan confesses that he and Daisy are now romantically together. The actor began the ITV soap under a different identity almost 30 years ago. Coronation Street fans were heartbroken to see Steve McDonald's marriage to Tracy Barlow go up in smoke. The ITV soap character has had several failed romances over the years. Over the years, his storylines have revolved around his romantic relationships with Vicki Arden, Fiona Middleton, Karen Phillips, Ronnie Clayton, Becky Granger, Tracy, Michelle Connor, and Lean Battersby, as well as Tracy giving birth to his daughter Amy, his battle with depression and the tragic loss of his two sons, Rueri with Michelle and Oliver with Lean and Simon Gregson's character, Steve, first graced the Corey Cobbles over 30 years ago in 1989. The former Tearaway has had his share of shady dealings, but he has evolved into a more comic persona over time. His poor judgment could also explain why he's remarried so frequently on the soap, having married five different ladies, some of whom have been featured previously. Tracy cheated on him with his football hero Tommy Orpington, so he's back to being single. Tim Metcalf found the affair and threatened to reveal it to Steve if she did not stop it. When she didn't reveal everything to her husband, Tim did, and Steve was crushed when he confronted Tracy, who declared she didn't want to be with him anymore. However, Simon's real life differs significantly from his fictitious alter ego. The actor went to the Kingsway School in Stockport, where he was spotted for the role of Steve. His debut appearance on Corey occurred on December 6, 1989, when he was 15 years old, alongside on-screen twin brother Andy McDonald, played by Nicholas Cochrane. The two played unruly youths who wreaked havoc among their neighbors. Simon has matured in the public light as a result of his continued appearance on the show. However, when a new producer arrived in 1997, fellow actor Nicholas, 49, was forced to depart the serial alongside other major roles. Simon, now 49, was initially credited under his own name, Simon Allen Gregory, but changed his stage name to Gregson when he was old enough to join Equity, the trade union for British actors. He chose Gregson because there was already a member with his true name, and it has remained ever since. However, Simon, like his character, has struggled with his health. The IMA celebrity, Get Me Out of Here 2021 runner-up stated that he had up to 12 panic attacks a day and was obliged to phone his boss in a crisis after struggling to get to work for his position as the cab driver in the long-running drama. He also stated how ITV had called in a psychiatrist who had previously worked with the royal family to assist him when he admitted to dealing with the condition, revealing that he didn't know what it was prior to his diagnosis. Away from business, Simon married former Hollyoaks actress Emma Gleave in 2010, and they have three sons together, Alfie, Henry, and Teddy. The family of five lives in Cheshire, and Simon has previously spoken of his home being haunted. He brought ghost hunter Barry Guy, psychic medium Ian Lawman, and paranormal researcher Jane Harris to his home in the hopes of getting rid of the lady in white he had seen lurking there. In the episode of Celebrity Help, My House is Haunted, Simon detailed the shadowy figure of a woman that has been sighted strolling the halls of his home, which is located in an affluent district of Cheshire known as Celebrity Central, due to its celebrity occupants. It went from right to left across one of the landings upstairs, he said. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.